blood pressure, high cholesterol, and stress are just some risk factors that can cause heart disease. And one family medicine physician with Community Health Partners shares what you can do today to live a healthier tomorrow. Kind of like with your pipes in your house, we think about how well are your pipes functioning and how well is your pump functioning. So we think about if your heart's having to work really hard and increase that pressure on everything, that's saying that we're at higher risk for your heart getting too tired or having a heart attack or stroke or those kind of things. But Unlike the pipes in your house, your heart isn't always as easy to repair. That's why assessing your risk factors now is important to your overall health. Cardiovascular risks come in a whole laundry list of different things. So we think about um, kind of genetic factors, so how your parents were, what their health was like, your other kind of family members. Um, think about your own personal risk factors, so things like do you smoke, are you active, do you try to eat healthy. We can also look at some laboratory testing. And that can look at your total cholesterol, your good cholesterol, and your bad cholesterol. Um, and from those numbers, and kind of in conjunction with like the different risk factors, we can kind of look at your overall risk factors for heart disease. Another indicator for cardiovascular health can be blood pressure. The blood pressure is like two different numbers. We have that systolic number, which is that big number up top, and that diastolic number, which is down below. And the systolic is just kind of saying, how high is your pressure when your heart squeezes? And then the diastolic is how high is your pressure when your heart relaxes? Um, so we'd like to see both those numbers. That top number should be about 120, and that bottom number should be about 70 to 80. Dr. Andrew C. says these measures can be often improved by heart healthy practices. So whether that's taking a walk around the block every day, or making smarter choices when we go out to eat, um, more kind of a whole food plant-based diet, um, that tends to kind of help modify those risk factors. Even a good night's sleep matters when it comes to your heart. Try to minimize kind of um, things that we do at, at night to help get us restful sleep, so things called sleep hygiene. So things like not watching TV in bed or not sitting on your phone in bed texting. Dr. C says symptoms like chest pain and shortness of breath can indicate poor heart health but recommends making an appointment with your primary care physician even before symptoms start. One of the tough things about heart disease is that most of the time it's silent. So we actually don't feel it. And a lot of times the first sign can be a heart attack. As a society, we're always like, go, 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 go. And we also need to remember that we need to take care of ourselves. Um, so just like we have to take our car in for an oil change, we have to do, you fill it up on gas. Our body is kind of like our car that we have for the rest of our lives.